the morning of day three, and I'm back here again in Bucks and Gulch. I came in the canyon a little later than I did yesterday in hopes of catching the reflected light at different times. Um, didn't really find anything yesterday, but today I'm going to focus my efforts on a couple key turns in the canyon where I think there might be some nice possibilities. I was going to relax for a little while and head further back in the canyon and see what I can find. After spending the morning and also early afternoon down in Buckskin, spent a lot of time scouting, scouring the canyon. I'm happy to say that I did find about two or three locations I think will be great for shots. So next couple days, I'm gonna head back in there, bring my camera, and actually let's take some shots, which is kind of an important thing for this being a photography blog and all. But now, it's time for lunch. As day three draws to a close, I just wanted to mention a couple things here. It's been about 95 degrees today. That's that's pretty hot. Fortunately, most of my time was spent down in Buckskin Gulch where it's in the 70s and sometimes even in the 60s in the really dark areas. One of my big concerns is obviously dehydration, so I drink plenty of water. I wear long sleeves and I have long pants, wear a hat and wear sunscreen. And by staying in the shade, um, I've been doing perfectly fine. Works really, really well. My other large concern is going to be keeping my film nice and cool. Professional film is destroyed by having it get hot. It just, it's, it's no good. That's why when you buy it, it comes in a refrigerator. Unless you buy it online, it doesn't actually come in a refrigerator. That would be cool though, nice touch. Um, I have a thermoelectric cooler and this plugs into the 12 volt socket of my car. So if I'm driving around, it keeps it nice and cool. Works really, really well. The issue though, is if I'm out hiking for the day and I, I'm obviously, don't want to have it plugged in my car because it will kill the car battery. I have another very large battery pack which will plug right in and this will let it run for about eight hours solid which is really good. This battery pack is not a one-time deal. You can go ahead and plug it into a solar panel which will charge it back up though it does take time. What I found out is I can plug the solar panel directly into the thermoelectric cooler and it runs. Not at full power but enough to keep it nice and cool. Yesterday I had the uh, big battery powering the cooler and then today I use a solar panel worked really well My other issue is the battery power for this thing the video camera uh, I go through about one or two video batteries a day. It's probably taken me about six or time Six or seven times and eh, we'll just gonna leave that in there to tape this video alone <laughs> bugs are kicking my ass here um, I have another solar panel set up. It's a four panel array which plugs into a lithium battery and at the end of the day, I can plug an inverter into this lithium battery and then go ahead and charge up my video batteries and I'm good to go. This setup works really well. I've been really happy with it. 